The other day we woke up to some interesting and, in my opinion, pretty awful news. The NHL is signing a 10-year deal with Fanatics and leaving Adidas as the makers for NHL jerseys. In my opinion, this is not good for fans and a real big letdown by the NHL, who continues to be their own worst enemy. Unfortunately, the writing has been on the wall for this move for over a decade. Fanatics and the NHL started out their relationship in 2005 when GSI Commerce took over online sales and would go on to triple their online earnings. In 2009, the league made a 10-year deal with GSI to continue online operations. Then two years later, in 2011, GSI would acquire Fanatics, a Florida-based business at that time. Jump forward to today, and Fanatics has been heavily involved with NHL merchandise, having kiosks in many rinks and pop-ups at events like the Winter Classic. In 2017, they got the rights to start making replica jerseys, and in 2021, they opened up and now operate the NHL's flagship store in New York City. This relationship will be 20 years long by the time this deal starts, so the announcement isn't really a shock. It's also not a shock that Adidas won't be sticking around because they came out last summer saying they didn't want to continue doing hockey jerseys, so they'll be covering until the 23-24 season, then they're out. Let's talk reactions to this deal, and I mean, one of the early kind of concerns is what's going to happen to the current facility in Quebec making jerseys? Well, the NHL actually says they're going to continue to use this facility, so the jobs will remain in the on-ice quality quality shouldn't change. So that's a decent win. However, it's not really the on-ice gear that people are concerned about. The main reason everyone is up in arms is the quality of the fan gear. It's just horrid. Cheaply made, falls apart, or washes away within a few weeks. To put it lightly, it's very hit and miss, and there's a huge issue with quality control. Fellow hockey YouTuber Shannon, the hockey guy, has a great in-depth video talking about his experience with the quality of Fanatic goods. Me personally, I'm not a big jerk guy, at least not yet. But I mean, for an example, look at this Mitchell and Ness Gretzky jersey. That's a Fanatic sub brand. They didn't even get the coloring right. I mean, that's for Gretzky. How are you going to do the great one like that? Now, of course, the league was prepared for the outrage and NHL Executive Vice President Brian Jennings said, that's fair, but let us prove the things we're talking about. A pretty basic nothing burger of a statement from the NHL and not surprising from them. Basically just saying, wait two years until we start making jerseys to hate this decision. I promise promise it wasn't nefarious that this announcement came out at like 6 in the morning. I just don't understand why the NHL is locking themselves in a 10-year deal with any jersey maker, but especially Fanatics with the almost universal disdain for fan gear. But let us know your thoughts in the comments below.